the keto tried to kill me. Had a rough, rough time today. Um, started out pretty good. I got up this morning at about 7 o'clock to go on a mountain bike ride. A buddy and I went out to Antelope Island to ride around the mountain. So we did that, and everything is good. Before I went, I ate um, a keto shake, which is almond milk, coconut oil, almond butter, and MCT oil. It's a ton of fat. It's a high, high fat shake. It's like 700 calories. So I ate that, and I took potassium, magnesium supplements, and I took a shot of salt water because I was worried about getting cramps. I've heard a lot of people getting cramps on the keto diet. So I did that halfway through our ride. Boom, I got hit with the cramps. Worst than I've ever had on both of my quads right on the front of my legs. I'd be biking along as I take my feet off. Instant just lock up of my uh, my quads. It was pretty painful. I could get the pain to go away. I pretty much just fought through it the whole time. Uh, the only food I took with me was two cheese sticks and um, water and some BCAs. BCAs are a uh, healthy electrolyte drink that I have. So I, I chugged those down, finished those up, and... I finished out the ride, which was fine. You know, it was tough. Um, Energy-wise, I felt pretty good. I don't think I was any more tired than I would have been if I was on the on a high-carb diet that I usually do. It was the first bike ride of the year. It was about 16, 17 miles. I mean, it kicked my ass pretty good. My lungs, my legs, everything. But energy-wise, I felt pretty good. So after the bike ride, we got back to the uh, truck and uh, had a couple cold, cold bru brewski beverages. Um, just two low calorie uh, Michelob Ultra beers, um, just tasty hanging out in the parking lot for a little while. And I was feeling pretty good, I was cramping, just kind of waiting for that cramping to go down. Um, but energy, I, I felt great. So uh, we leave and we come home. I wasn't driving home. Uh, we stopped at Maverick and got a snack and uh, Gatorade Zero. I, I chugged down just because I was thirsty, trying to help that those cramps. And by the time I got home, I was starting to feel like really drunk like I was hammered so my buddy drops me off I come inside I'm fumbling with my keys I can't get my keys in the door to get it open and I pretty much just drop my stuff in the living room and start walking up the stairs I'm stumbling up the stairs I can't make it and I get upstairs and Paige is here and I just lay down on the bed and I'm like she's like how's the ride I'm like I feel good I'm I feel hammered though and I'm kind of telling her how I'm feeling and she's like gets real weird about it. she's like well let me let me check your blood sugar. And she's a type 1 diabetic, so she has the little finger prick thing where she can check blood sugar to see where she's at. And I don't know really anything about what, what's normal, what's anything else. I Just from seeing her, I know what's low because she goes low every once in a while and has to um, take carbohydrates to get that up. So I've learned that in case there's an emergency with her. Um, there's even a something called a glucagon pen if a diabetic gets too low and they pass out. Um, obviously, if you're passed out, you can't drink any sugar to raise those blood sugars level up so that pen is actually an injectable shot you can shoot into somebody it's just straight uh glucose will bring the body's uh blood sugar level up so she pricks my finger and as i'm laying there in bed and checks my blood glucose levels and it's like a 28 and she thinks it's wrong she's like no way she's like i've never been that low in my life um then she does it again and it's a 27, so it's even lower, and she gets freaked out, which I'm like, well, it's not a big deal. Let me just lay down and relax. She says, no, you cannot lay down. You go to sleep, you'll you'll pass out, you go into a coma, and you can't get woke back up. You'll have to, and so I'm going to call the ambulance. I'm like, well, no. She's like, you got to go eat some, drink some apple juice. We keep apple juice on hand uh, strictly for her, for regulating her blood sugar. So I go downstairs, and I'm kind of slurring my words and stuff. I've got a video here I took. I'll, I'll add it on the end of this. This might be a long video. Um, I drink, So I drank some apple juice. Then I had a, a shake, another one of those fat shakes, just because I needed the calories. I needed something. And I I wasn't going to break my diet. I don't want it. She made me drink the shake, the, the uh, apple juice, which I had to. I mean, now that I've kind of looked into it, that was a, a really drastically low um, blood sugar level. But I feel fine now. I actually just slept for the last four hours. It knocked me straight out. When you go that low, then come back up. It put me right to sleep. I'm pretty exhausted from the bike ride, too. Um, I feel good now. I'm right back on the diet, 100%. I'm at, it's only, I had eight ounces of apple juice, which is only 25 carbs, sugar or something. So it's not even fine. I did check my uh, ketones with a pee, pee strip. And I checked them this morning before I went. And then I checked them after. And I got even more purple on the the line. I'll do a little video on just 
checking piece strips. So I'm finally seeing, seeing color in the thing. It started out as white and it goes to purple. Um, I started seeing color for the first time yesterday. But I checked just recently and I'm still in the purple. So I'm still in the ketosis. There's ketones in my, in my urine. So everything's good. I'm keep pushing forward. But I um, had a scary little experience. If she wasn't home and I didn't know, I probably would have went to sleep. And um, who knows what could have happened. But reason for that, I don't have an exact reason. I did do a little research here real quick on the computer. Um, and it might have been the alcohol because I haven't had any carbohydrates in a week, which I'm not fully in that ketosis thing. I'm right in the middle, so it's kind of a fine line. I was worried about it when I was biking. But the thing says alcohol consumption causes an increase in insulin secretion, which leads to low blood sugar. So you know, we eat sugar, a natural person eats sugar. Your, your, your blood glucose rises up, and then your body creates insulin to bring it down. It keeps right in that, about an 88, um, 80 to 90 range of blood sugar. So if I had an increase in insulin, which brings my good my blood sugar down, which was already average or normal, it put me down like this in the super low. So I had to have some sugar to bring it back up to match where I should be. Um, I just something I've got to learn with and, and guess with. Luckily I have Paige, which has that strip thing I can test. So I'll hopefully I can do this a little more and um, shed some light if anybody runs into an issue like this. Um, but just be careful when you are doing extreme activities. That bike ride is probably a little too too hard for the state I'm in right now. But um, once you start, there's no stopping. I push through anything. But just a learning experience. Um, but I'm still good. It tried to kill me, but I'm too hard to kill. Okay, hit me. Ow! <laughs> <laughs> okay. uh, see what we're at. What's normal? Mm, like 80 to 100. See? 86. Perfect. I'm gonna live. I'm gonna live to fight another day. Okay, so just going. <clears throat> just going from my mountain bike ride. I went out to Antelope Island and went on a mountain bike ride. It was like a three, four hour ride, three hour ride. And I got cramped real bad on my quads. I took some potassium and magnesium and uh, some sodium before I went on my ride. But halfway through, I, my quads got super cramped. Um, and then I got done and I the buddy and I drank two beers, two Michelob Ultra beers, are like 65 calorie beers, and they're 2.5 carbs. Um, I gotta do some research to see what that equates to with like carbs and stuff, because 2.5 carbs doesn't equal 65 calories, so I gotta figure that out. Uh, and then I, on the way home, stopped at Maverick, got a zero cal Gatorade and a cheese jerky stick. But I just feel terrible. So I got home and I had Paige. She said, let me check your blood sugar. And so she checked my blood sugar because she saw that I didn't feel very good. And she said I was at 28. And then she thought that she thought it was wrong. So she rechecked it and it was at 27. Is that right? Mm -hmm. So I guess that's a extremely low blood sugar. And like that's lower than she's ever been in her life as a diabetic um so that's not good so i just chugged a big glass of uh apple juice which is just straight sugar pretty much to get my blood glucose levels up um and he didn't want to do it but i made him i didn't want to do it because <laughs> i want to break my diet and my buddy had a banana with me on that ride too and he's like yeah do you eat the banana i was like no i'm not gonna do it and i had all I took was two pieces of string cheese. I had a big keto shake before that. I'm drinking one now, too. But... But what were you feeling like when you got home? Oh, I felt like shit. I could barely walk up the stairs. I was like... Like I was hammered. I felt like I was drunk as hell. I'm like, well, I drank two beers. I'm like, God, those are really hitting me. But... 
Yeah, they were hitting me in the wrong kind of way, I guess. So, I mean, this is a learning experience for the keto thing. Probably rambling on here. I'm still kind of confused, confused state of mind right now, but um, I'll figure it out and I'll try to explain it a little bit better later of the science of what's what goes on and what doesn't. <laughs> I don't know. I'm hammered, I guess. But that's it. Still charging forward.